Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at a game theory example. The game of Snip is played for marbles. In this game, two players, A and B, A and B say, each have a coin which, unseen by the other player, they independently choose to display heads or tails, okay? So I'm A and I pick either heads or tails, and you're B and you pick either heads or tails. You make a choice and then when we've both made our decision, we disclose uh, our choices to each other, okay? So when A and B have made their choices, the, the coins are disclosed, we show each other what we've picked, and the outcome of the game is decided in accordance with the table below. So A, if A goes with heads and B goes with heads, here, that means A wins. If A goes with heads and B goes with tails, that means B wins, okay? And likewise, if A goes with tails and B goes with heads, B wins. And if A goes with tails and B goes with tails, that means A wins. So just as a quick remark, with regard to A, it's the winnings are plus three, minus two, plus one, and minus two. That's for each of the four cells there. Okay, so that's A's winnings in each of the four scenarios, including a negative winning means a loss, essentially. He loses two, or they lose two. Now, suppose that A and, suppose that a and B independently both randomly display heads and tails with a probability of one half. Okay, so 50% of the time I go with heads, 50% of the time I go with tails, and player B, yourself, also the same as well. Okay. Show that the all four outcomes in the table above have the same probability and deduce the, the, the expected gain from A or B is zero. Okay, so you can disregard that six there. That's just a leftover. So, essentially the outcomes are as follows. Probability of heads given being from A is a half. Probability of heads given from B is a half. Tails, tails and half, half. It, this is very straightforward actually this question essentially they all have to be one half so or one half each so that's what we're told so essentially there are each of the four outcomes are equally likely there that is a probability of one quarter one over four for each of the possible outcomes there the expected gain for player x is expected gain is the winnings for each of the cells times the probability of that uh, cell okay so the each of the four possible outcomes so and the winnings that's the expected gain okay so the the outcome is like heads heads it's a pairing essentially that's one possible outcome tails tails that's another possible outcome add them all up what who gains and so on okay so let's continue on so every entry in the body of, ta uh, of in the body of the table is the product of the marginal probability. So essentially, it's a half. A, a half times a half, it's a quarter. Okay. So writing the gain for A as G A and the gain for B as G B. Uh, essentially, what we do here is the winnings for A uh, each for each cell. This is the first cell. Um, heads heads, where A wins three. Probability of that is a quarter. Heads for A, tails for B, well, it's actually a negative there. It's actually plus or minus two, really, times the probability of that is a quarter. Uh, tails and heads, tails for A, heads for B. Again, it's an, actually a loss of minus two and tails, tails, okay? So three minus two, minus two, plus one, all over four. That works out to be zero. So. That's what A's winnings are, expected winnings are, okay? And because this is a two-player game, um, you could uh, sort of, essentially because if one, it's a zero-sum game essentially for each possible outcome. So it's essentially, if one wins, the other one loses. So necessarily this is the case here, that if A wins, B loses, and if B loses, A wins, and so on. So the expected gain for B has to be the opposite of, the negative of the expected gain for A. And in both cases, it works out to be zero. So it's actually a fair game. In the long run, 
nobody has an advantage in that scenario assuming in if they both play 50 50. now suppose that both a and b independently both randomly display heads and tails so uh but they're different doing it with different probabilities a favors heads two-thirds of the time whereas b favors tails two-thirds of the time so essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to update our probability table there okay so it is uh, just to actually make it a little bit clearer two over nine two times two over three times one over three so a heads heads prob uh, scenario is prob has a probability of two over nine uh heads tails heads for a tails for b is two thirds times two thirds which is four over nine okay two over nine for tails heads tails for a heads for b and tails tails is okay no i got that the wrong way around sorry it's my mistake that should be one over nine and that should be two over nine there sorry but here it's the right done the right way so three times nine three times two over nine minus two times four over nine minus two times one over nine plus one times two over nine that gives us minus two over nine so in the long run this strategy does not favor uh, a at all for the expected gain for b therefore is two over nine so this uh, whole setup uh, definitely this suits b player b okay finally this is the last part now finally suppose that a and b independently and randomly display heads and tails with respect to probabilities pa and 1 minus pa pb and 1 minus pb so that's for heads and tails and this is for i'll make this blue heads and tails okay calculate the four outcome probabilities and show that the expected gain may be written as as follows so the expected gain to a may be written as that okay now there's another part to this question here noting that this may be written as 1 minus 3 uh, pa times 3 minus apb minus 3 pb or alternatively say if you pre uh, would prefer to play as A or B and how would you play this is sort of setting up for a question that's going to come later on okay so don't worry about it too much it really is sort of inviting you to make an educated guess sort of like sort of probe one of those little formulas there and just sort of see what would happen okay so anyway so what we're going to do here is actually just essentially what we have the winnings and the probabilities of each cell heads 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 tails tails heads tails tails those are the probabilities there pa times pb so since you multiply them out and those are the expected winnings for a there uh, for each of those four scenarios three minus two minus two and one so essentially what we do is multiply them all out and simplify so this is just a good bit of number crunching there but what you should end up is that expression there and it sort of tells you what you should end up as anyway so that shouldn't be too hard now the next part is really inviting you to sort of look at this expression here okay this one here so let's have well we don't not necessarily this one here but okay so if i'm player b okay this is the expected gain to a what could i do there okay now i don't really know what i can do how how well actually there's one way i can control uh put some control over it i can actually set this part here to zero okay if pb is equal to 3 over 8 that becomes 0 okay so the whole expression there that means that part that goes 0 as well or the whole thing goes to zero, 0 really okay so that would become 1 minus 3 times pb and that's actually 1 minus 3 times 3 over 8 so that's 1 minus 9 over 8 okay doesn't look like an 8 9 over 8 
which is minus one eighth. Okay, that means that I can sort of guarantee, well, I can't guarantee, but I can be fairly confident that this strategy would favor me in the long run. If I was to play heads three eighths of the time and tails five eighths of the time, I would win or I would come out on top. Okay. Now there actually might, there is probably another way of sort of optimizing that a bit more, but it's not really part of this question. It's not really something we've encountered yet. So I would play as player B and I would go for heads three eighths of the time because I know I come out ahead. Okay. So now discuss whether you play prefer to play as A or B and how would you play? So I play as B and I play heads three eighths of the time. Now that's sort of just the sort of perusal of what we have there. Don't worry about that. There's more to come on this sort of stuff yet about how to optimize your winnings. Okay, we'll leave it there.